everyone welcome back to my channel this is upasana singh and today i have with me abhijit tripathi who is an entrepreneur and he's successfully running three startups along with that he is doing research papers he is writing research papers publishing few books and mark my words he is just 22 years of age so abhijit welcome to our channel and uh, now the platform is all yours you can start with your introduction first Oh, thank you so much, Upasana, for inviting me today to this channel. It's a great opportunity to uh, interact with you and with your viewers as well. So, my name is Abhijit Tripathi. I, as Upasana said, I happen to be 22 years old, and I'm currently undergraduate in Guru Ghatika Vidya Vidyalaya in Bachelor of Technology, Computer Science and Engineering. She mentioned that I'm running three startups. Actually, two of them has merged to one. So, basically, two startups now. So I we have I have actually merged two of them to one uh, because of some legal issues. So I have actually merged them. So now it is two startups. One is successfully registered, another one is already in the process uh, of registering. So this is how I mean I have been doing my intensive uh, entrepreneurship for last 1.5 years, more than 1.5 years uh, as of now. So that's something about me. Other than this, you can just if you want to find anything about me, just Google my name, and that will be sufficient. Everything you will get. <laughs> I mean, from my books to my startups and my Python package and a lot of things. So that's everything about me. So an entrepreneur's journey is always an interesting one. So can you tell me your journey as an entrepreneur? Yeah, of course I can tell, but I have to start from a. I mean, I have to start from my school days. Uh, most of my teachers have already predicted that I have a very good leadership skill because in every type of function, I was not only a topper. I am a topper still now of my college, of my university, but that's not a very big achievement. Being a topper in the school also, I have shown a lot. I mean, I have shown a very, uh, very good type of leadership skill. I can say, like I have been in charge of many groups, many such groups. I have been president of my college. Uh, so, president of my school clubs and all of these things for more than twice, thrice, and all these things. So, basically, what is the journey of an entrepreneur? So, this is not about only making the business. This is not about only learning the technology. This is never al always. I mean, this is never be about learning different type of finances and legal things. Every people think like that. This is all about the leadership. You are not the only people in your startup. You are not the only person in your startup who is going to work for your goal. You have people around you. You have people with whom you can build the startup. So the first and foremost thing in the journey of any entrepreneur is the leadership skills. So my leadership, my leadership skills somehow comes from my family as well. I've seen my uh, my father, my parents, uh, and a lot of other family members as well. Like they have been involved in many such society occasions. Like you whom also know that we live in a society where different type of occasion comes uh, once in a fifteen days or something like that. So they have been leaders in those. Okay, then so this leadership skill is something like which come from my parents and coming back to the entrepreneurship journey, how I started. Uh, I mean, 1.5 years ago, like I was not, I did nothing extra. Like first of all, if you see Edwilgo Academy, uh, the package Edwilgo that is a Python package, simple Python package. I was just wandering around. My friends told me that uh, we have been using Python in all of our projects, and a lot of codes are getting redundant. A lot of codes which involve DSA, which involves computer networks, a lot of things are getting written. So I thought to come up with a library. So this is how that started, and that turned into something like we have been teaching thousand plus people now. So next thing like how the previous softwares, the current startup which is registered successfully, how that thing is going on. Like we have started this only six months uh, ago. Like previous software is running for six months ago. It, we did a lot of work to find our first client, and it's been a hard journey. I I can say it's been a hard journey, but there is a lot more things to learn. I'm just 22, as you mentioned. I'm just 22, and there is a lot of things to learn. Like I can't express how much you have to learn to stay in the industry as a working professional. I can say like you have to learn a lot to stay in the industry. Every day the industry is changing. If you are not updating, you are getting out of the industry. So entrepreneurship journey is um, I mean the journey started from a simple Python package. And now it's a software company. So everything starts from very small, but you have to uh, apply your knowledge. You have to apply your skills consistently. The main thing is consistency. It's not it's not necessary that you should be talented, but you should be consistent. This is how I can say simply the entrepreneurship journey uh, about the entrepreneurship journey. Okay. Um, since our youth are so much towards getting the job, they just want to get a job, especially in engineering field. SD is just everyone wants. 
so how did you choose a startup while others are focusing on jobs only yeah uh, this gives me a reminder of my uh, second semester in my first year so i have been doing a lot of competitive programming in my first semester like my peers were unknown about these things but i have already started like just my after my je was done i started learning different type of programming language started doing competitive programming started learning things which are needed for sd my aim was never to be a to be an entrepreneur my aim was always to go for sd in a fang company like in some facebook or google but the thing is in my second semester i understood in my second semester of first year i was learning dsa i was doing competitive programming the only one i mean in the first year itself i got an opportunity to set questions for the course of contest in my college so that's a very big achievement for any first year guy i mean no one can set the question in first year itself that is also course of question which they review properly um, before publishing the question i got a chance for that but what i understood at that point of time like what i am doing i am writing some code and how many people i am actually um, i mean affecting i'm not affecting anyone i'm just writing the code redundantly i'm writing the code today i'm solving a question of dynamic programming tomorrow also i'm solving the same type of question of dynamic programming so this redundancy i never like uh, this is where your leadership skill come into play like i thought why to only uh, limit myself to sd why don't i get a team of 10 sd who can do something better so when the uh, when my entire friend circle is going for sd so i thought let's try to do something to solve the biggest problem in india what is that biggest problem everyone knows that is unemployment so we are not going for a product based company that is this is not the reason we don't have the resources we have the resources i have also worked with some product based companies product based startups i can say not product based company i i have some idea about that but we are not going for product based company we are going for service based company service product hybrid company so that we can provide more employment right now it's only started 6 months earlier but we have 10 plus people in our company where uh, 50% is reserved for females so it is not like we are only promoting only males in our field we are also promoting females who can who want to join us even one of the director is my mom only so we also did the 50% thing in case of directors like two directors should be necessary one is me one is my mom so this thing we have done and like i can say everyone is going for sd that is not a very bad thing that's a good thing everyone should go for sd in fact i think sds are more talented than me because you guys are looking into that black screen every day and you guys are coming up with new ideas every day i also come up with new ideas but your ideas are implementable so the thing is like sd is okay but i am looking for a uh, big, big i mean i i want to impact big sd is only limited to the company you are working on or the technology you are working on but i am not limited to the company or the technology i am limited i can do anything now because i am getting the freedom so the freedom is a very important thing i can say uh, that actually the freedom inspired me to start this startup so that i have the freedom of what technology i have to focus on what how can i improve the uh, i mean how can i improve the lives of my country's people so i am not going anywhere like it's very easy for me now to get any job in any foreign country or something like that but i am not interested i am doing this for the country only and very soon we will be launching products which will be affecting millions so uh, let's hope for the best and that that is something what i can say sd is not bad but my aim is different yeah nothing is bad but yeah uh, at engineer side there is some hype towards sds so people sometimes become reluctant towards their own dreams so that is what uh, i wanted to know that how did you work in that environment yeah the thing is like let's assume in a town everyone is everyone needs mango everyone need to buy mango so if there are 10 people in the town and everyone needs mango then who is the one providing the mango like everyone will want mango but there are no person who can provide it so i am the one who is going to provide the mango so that's the difference nothing extra so i feel like startup involves so many steps so could you elaborate that what a process that any startup goes through like these are the mandatory steps that any startup goes through yeah the important thing that i want to say like i have seen a lot of my peers as well a lot of people who are in school as well who are trying to run a startup but they are failing miserably there is there are different aspects of this even i am not that much qualified to tell this answer properly because i am not a i mean i am only 22 and it's only 1.5 years since i am doing startup but the thing that i want to focus on like in a startup you always want to do a market research if you are going for any type of market be it a software market it's a education market anywhere you are going you need to do a market research and you need to see where other people are failing and you should start from that point so market research 
that is the first point like in a startup the market research is quite important even before you jump into the startup yeah what you can do uh, before registering our startup we actually did work for six months just to see if our ideas if our conclusions that we have uh, got from our hypothesis of the market research they are actually failing inside our set or not so we saw that and we got clients as well we got very good reviewers so we thought to i mean start the startup with 10 people and we are working on that so the first thing is you should do the market research the next thing is you should build a team team building is a very important thing nowadays you are seeing there is a lot of hiring software coming into the market like we will provide you the client you just pay us we will provide sorry we will provide you the uh, candidate you just pay us we will provide you the candidate why so why is such type of candidate providing good candidate providing things are coming into the market because team building is quite important nowadays you have your competitors and they have a better human resource and everyone is capable to uh, i mean give lucrative offers like uh, let's assume uh, let's assume some company is paying more so they, the developers will definitely leave your company and go to that company so that's a very big thing so team building is the second thing third thing it's not only limited to technology i belong to the technology background but i have a deep respect for people who who belong to different backgrounds like economics finance and uh, legal and all because those things you need to learn if you are not learning those things there, there is no way in the startup you know you need to learn a lot of business like uh, i always give this example like doing a college project and having the same project for your business is very different um, i mean two different aspects let's assume you are making a very good college project which is actually one of the innovations i can say but that thing may not be a very good business case or that thing may not be do well in the market that's because you are lacking in the market research part so in the startup the first point is market research always always the second point is team building the third point is do not limit yourself to anything do not limit yourself to technology try to learn different aspects of uh, i mean your startup and startup is not only run by technology i'm always telling you like every type of people is there and only engineers are not there so next thing that is like how you are going to sustain my father always tells me like my father is not from any startup background but as a the parent he always tells me that like, you should focus on how to do these things uh consistently you should not do startup only for one year and then after that you should stop it and you should go somewhere else so this is not like how it is done so you have to plan for long term that is the fourth point like you always have to plan for the long term and the fifth point if you are having the client like getting the first client is very tedious task i'm telling you in a competitive market in a software market basically other market like education market and all if you are publishing some course and all that people are going to buy it definitely because everyone is looking for learning something new but in case of software market the market is quite competitive so if you are getting clients how to retain them if you are not providing the thing like provide quality thing it is not necessary that you should be providing a high class top class thing but it is necessary that you should be providing something which is up to the mark up to the satisfaction point of the client so these are few important things in the startup which i am uh, which i should i mean tell you like first point second point and third point anyone can go with anything like some people go with the client first and then do the market research most of them are ai research companies now i have worked with a lot of ai research companies so they are like they are going to the client first they are understanding the problem statement after that they going for the research right so this thing differs in some companies but in my case it was the uh, process basically the flow so one of the most important thing i believe in startup is the idea itself because if you don't have an idea then how will start a startup so how one can think of a good idea that can work as a startup as well thinking of a good idea is very tedious task why why i am telling this like what do you mean by good idea its definition can be different for different people and different its definition can be different for different industries as well if you are going to the medical industry and you are telling you are telling that i will provide you with a software which can detect, detect tumor then they will actually laugh the doctor will laugh i have tried this and they actually laughed at me so there is a reason for that so this thing is i mean this thing should not be i mean this thing should not be there like right so basically what i want to say like getting the idea is very tedious but it is also at the same time it requires a lot of patience to get the idea i always had I, i had always in the mind like i will start a software startup right but software can be of different type you are also from the software background the people who are who, the viewers who are from the software background they can understand like software can be of different type so which software market so that's where the market is now the idea you do not need to be innovative like you don't need to be thomas edison to be a startup guy or be a founder or be a businessman like you can see the idea can be the same the product quality 
like how what type of product you are providing what type of service client service you are providing like in business we always deliver our clients every type of business they do their clients so how type of service you are providing what type of reviews you are getting and how you are implementing those reviews in your future updates this thing is very important let's assume i am getting some review from my client so how i am going to impress him or her in the next update so that's up to us so getting a idea is tedious task but consistently if you focus on the market slowly 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 you will get an idea which will make you a millionaire so i am not telling that uh, getting an idea is like uh, like recently i have been a part of iisf which was in goa which was sponsored by ministry of arts science right so i was selected in uh, my project was selected in top 200 project i saw a lot of innovations in people there but i have also seen that those innovations most of those innovations can't be applied in the real market because that doesn't have any business value they are very good innovations for college projects and something like that but they are not having any business value so th- those are, those projects are also not selected they were also rejected by the jury because jury was consisting of very highly talented people highly qualified people so that is what i am saying like the idea is tedious but consistently like what i am saying uh, let's assume you are preparing some pot out of the earth right potter like potter prepare some pot earthen pot so if you try to prepare an earthen pot it's not like at the same time at one instant the pot will be prepared there are different steps right so getting an idea is a or is also having different steps first thing you only go through your intu- intuition like okay this can be an idea then you go for the research if my idea is feasible then you bring out some hypothesis oh what happen what will happen if this thing will happen then you go for conclusions like okay so if this happens then i will do this that is your entire business idea so idea preparation is also a very step by step process and it's not like everyone can come up with the idea but the thing is how you are making business out of it like we are not doing we are not having entrepreneurship we are not doing business for just the idea we are also doing it for having money so that we can give uh, jobs to people so that we can give welfare to people so it's always necessary for your idea to have some business value and that comes only when you do the market research properly so how to come up with a good idea so in simple do the market research that is the only way um having a good idea is uh, okay but not every idea works in the market so how what are the factors that one can consider while deciding that whether their idea will work or not yeah uh, now very first thing an entrepreneur should understand before coming into entrepreneurship that you are going to fail out of 100 times you are going to fail 99 times and after that you are going to get the success so it is like when i started edwell go academy for the first three months i failed very miserably in fact my all my savings were ended okay after that i just changed the business plan because i learned something from the uh, market i learned something from the education market the education market is quite saturated in india currently outside of the country it's not quite saturated like in case of indonesia in case of dubai our clients are also from indonesia and dubai right so i understood that not a very um, i mean not a very good population of ed tech companies are there it's just like in india we have a lot of ed tech companies the market idea that idea which is not valuable in india that is very much valuable in case of indonesia in case of dubai or if you go to united states also that will be valuable i have not gone there but this this guy is like in case of thailand in case of indonesia in case of uh, dubai so what i'm trying to say the idea will work or not that depends upon a lot of factors we can't say that like yeah this idea will work no no that's why i'm telling that you should go for market research you should see if it is working in india if it is working in india that's great uh like two things will work in india you have to give some like our indian clients always want some type of uh, what i can say some type of uh, coupon codes and something like that you give uh, more coupon codes in india and your courses will be getting sold but in case of uh, indonesia in case of dubai i have seen like they are people want the quality like they are not uh, hesitating to pay you if you are providing the quality so the business idea is completely different in those countries this is what i'm trying to say like the business idea doesn't come directly from a statement like okay this is how i am going to do my business no it comes thoroughly when you research about the market when you analyze the market and it takes some time so the first step that i told you always is the market is the next step is uh, i mean for framing proper hypothesis and getting proper conclusion most of the people what they do they take a pen and the paper and like write the hypothesis and then after applying some of their intuitions and some of their most important time they come up with conclusions which don't which never works so this type of thing happens with maximum of people even it happened with me so the thing is like do not do that in pen and paper go and talk with people go and talk with clients learn their requirements how you can improve it how you can 
like if you want you can also introduce like innovation is not only having a product innovation is also having an idea right so you can have that idea of how to change a certain product like let's assume in india everyone is providing online education right but along with the online education let's assume i am providing uh, study materials like this is the strategy we come up in the april like we started providing books and study materials and our sales actually go up very well like this is the idea like i i learned this after failing in january february and march so this is like what i'm saying like when you fail you learn so if you are having an idea do not get worried just take the risk have the idea in the market and see if it works if it doesn't work it's okay try again fail better no problem it, this is how the thing works right so you i said about the failing things so being a student we always fear from failure many have the past failures as well and they don't want to take any more risk in the college life because it's a very crucial part of our life it's it it will be a deciding factor towards our life as well and also the failing in something uh, leads to the self doubt as well so how you can uh, say that how one can get out of their failure fear or how if as someone is have failing in something then how it, it is that defines the future of the fear student that is a failure defines the future of the student yes failure defines the future of the student but in a positive way not in a negative way like some people will take this line in a negative way like i just failed and my future is finished no no it's not the what happened in my class 7th or 8th i can't remember i actually uh, i was a topper consistently so for some reason i came in the second place like highly competitive mind i had a very highly competitive mind currently also i have a highly competitive mind but i don't uh, get into marks and all these things nowadays but the thing is like my competition in the software market so currently my competition is there but when i got the second position my father told me like i told him like it's very difficult to get the first position nowadays because the competition has increased my father told me have you ever seen a room uh, where there is no light i mean a dark room you may fear to get into the room at first you may fear to get into the room but once you get there slowly slowly you will i mean you will learn how to live there right so the fear and the failure that you are talking these are like that dark room if you are entering into failure that is the only way you will i mean this will decrease your fear for the failure right and failure is what failure is nothing you just tried and it did not happen it's very simple like uh, i am telling this simple after failing so many times uh, for the people who are failing for the first time failing in life failing in relationship or failing in anything this is very difficult for them to accept the failure like the thing is like how to accept the failure some people are having the egoistic mindset like how to accept the failure like i can't be failed i am i mean i am the second i mean i am the hitler of the second world war no no that thing doesn't happen the thing is like uh, you are going to fail and the thing is how you are going to react to it every time the fear of failure gets generated because you do not analyze the option let's assume if you fail the exam what will happen you have to give the exam again so give the exam again do better it's very simple let's assume you have to uh, i mean you, you are going to the train station and you are failing the train that is a very simple failure that happens in daily life you are failing the train you could not catch the train what what is the problem the towns are not going anywhere you can catch another train and you can go to the next town so the thing is there are thousands of opportunities you failed one try to knock at the another door you failed again try to knock at the another to knock in the another, another door but the thing is in the first failure you had a set up only your knowledge in the second failure you also have the set up your knowledge plus you have the knowledge which you have learned from the first failure in the third failure like this is getting success in it so how the fear of failure goes uh, i mean how the fear of failure decreases there is only way fail more so how do you fail more we do not take risk so this is nowadays i am seeing like lot of people are investing in stock market and yesterday only when the yesterday or day before yesterday when the stock market collapsed like collapse means it's right, getting down and down every day like the index was getting down and down so i saw the same people my friends only they put took their stocks out they are not taking the risk of letting the market down once you fail you will learn how the market how how the market works but they are not taking the risk so this is how the risk factor and the fear factor and the failure factor they are related like you take the risk you um, i mean see if you are taking the risk there are only two two chances either you fail or you will succeed if you fail you will learn if you succeed then also you will learn these are nothing if you read gita shrimad bhagavad gita properly lord krishna properly said failure and success these are only states of mind 
these are nothing else if you have a very clear state of mind failure and success means the same to you then nothing will happen so the thing is like try to take the success uh, in the same way that you to take the failure do not try to be overjoyed with the success most of the people get overjoyed with the success and stop working like let's assume i am giving this interview today some of the entrepreneurs i know they give the interview and then next day they are like i gave this interview i am a very good guy i gave this interview so i am not like that i gave this interview in coming days also i am looking to give more interview so it's not like today it's not ending the world is not ending today so think is like your set up brain your set up mind how you are training your mind so i have trained my mind in such a way there is a story for that also like how i trained my mind so some other day i will tell that so the thing is like you have to train your mind in such a way that it will respond to the failure and respond to the success in the same way like i respond to the failure in the same way for the two minutes i feel i mean for the first two minutes when i hear for any failure for the first two minutes i become very sad in the third minute onwards i start working for the next failure so the thing is like failure and success are the same just the thing is like we think they are different so do not think they are different they are the same this is just the state of brain nothing else so this is um, how you deal with failure basically um being an engineer we usually misunderstood startup with just developing a product or using some kind of tech, uh, tech. but it in also involves lot of uh, research lot of uh, tackling with the financial knowledge having knowledge of how one can tackle the client and uh, we can say that business perspective of a startup or knowing the business perspective is also very important so how one can get these things because we we are just student and we don't have the uh, outsource for that so how one can get that okay i have to ask you a question to answer this so let's assume you need uh, some flowers so where will you go you need some flower where will you go at my garden will... so that i ha huh, garden or the market similarly yeah. if you need yeah. knowledge you will go to college most preferably if you are not going to college because colleges in india are good but they are not that much effective that we are expecting but it is not a bad thing but neither a good thing so if you want knowledge if you want water you will go to the well if you want knowledge you will read a lot of books every entrepreneur that i know personally and people whom i don't know but every the entire world knows them like every everyone jeff bezos uh, elon musk a lot of people a lot of people who are successful in life they read a lot so try to read a lot now the thing not this thing when it comes to legal aspect when it comes to financial aspect when it comes to business aspect these things you have to learn gradually over time i can't claim that i am an expert of legal thing or finance thing or business thing but in the past 1.5 year i've learned a lot of things uh, which are uh, who, i mean which are applicable in india legally right i did not know that these things are also possible in india like just two days earlier i i actually discovered a uh, different type of tax system for business people like me and for uh, sd is like i mean you are also going to be an sd i guess in future if you are planning for that so if you are going to be sd then if the tax structure for you is different for tax structure for me if we are earning the same money then that is different going to be different i am going to pay less amount of tax uh, because i have different options so this everything i did not know so how did i know that i just tried to explore that internet is the i can say in this decade in my father in my parents time like they always they always tell me like in our time there was no internet we could not gain a lot of knowledge because for that purpose they have to rely on newspaper they have to rely on magazine and a lot of things but we have the internet and internet is in our pocket no one is living without mobile now that is a very big addiction for some people but for us it is not we are having three mobiles and yet we are doing the work the thing is like it's okay internet is a big addiction but internet has some positive points so this is the positive how you are going to learn now Uh, one more thing is that like everything in the internet is not the correct thing a lot of mis i mean i can the misinformation is also there like i have explored a lot of misinformation for startup registration and the financial aspects of startup so i consulted the experts so you have the experts everywhere this is how you build your network so once you build your network it becomes clear like you have the expert you can ask them any time like sir if this thing is happening then what should i do so you will learn something from that it's not always necessary to have the business degree although having it is a very big plus point not for the knowledge purpose because knowledge is everywhere available but for the networking purpose someone is going for mba in iim or something like that it's for the networking not for the knowledge because knowledge is available everywhere the same books you can purchase and read instead of going to iim you can purchase and read the same books so why to go to iim because of the network that you are going to get so build the network that actually solves almost 20 to 50, 
20 to 30 percent of problems. Build the network. You have the people. You have the expert whom you can ask. Other thing, try to learn in from from my very first year only when I explored that. Uh, computer programming or SD is not my cup of tea. It's not like I can't do that. I can do that, but I am not interested in that so much. So if you are not interested in something, don't do it for PFS. Don't do it for something called as FOMO. Something word. Some words are going on nowadays. FOMO. Something like that. Don't do that for FOMO and anything like that. Okay, because whatever you are interested in, you should always do that. So the thing is like I was interested in learning everything about startup from the top to bottom, how to raise funds, how to raise everything, everything. So I started learning. So the only way you can learn is to like explore the courses, explore the books. Like I still remember I have more than uh, 50 courses, 50, 60 courses that I've done from Coursera. Like different aspects, not only in technology. Technology I've learned. That's all. I mean, a lot of technology I've learned from Udemy, Coursera, and everywhere. But other aspects as well, psychology, business psychology, legal, finance, a lot of things are there. So I actually learned that. I study a lot of books. Like uh, today, it's not available. Otherwise, I will show you how my book rack looks like. It's a very big, very tall book rack. A lot of books are there, uh, including physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other finance, legal thing, or everything. So you need to learn. And for that purpose, you have the internet. That is what I'm saying. Like internet is there. Experts are there. Experts are very important. Internet is not only important. Always consult with them. expert and try to learn have a learning attitude like i am the ceo uh, some some person who is in my company some of my employees they are coming up with a new idea i will not tell them that i am i am the ceo i will take the decision this is not a very good team management or this is not a very good trait of a leader i always ask them to come up with the idea and they also give so many ideas so what i am saying that like adaptability should be there like you should adapt to what other people are also saying i am not saying that adapt wrongly a lot of people take wrong uh, traits from other people like if you are living with some person who is quite toxic you will become toxic this is what people say but like you should always try to extract the good thing just like the swan swan always extract the good thing from the mud right so just like the swan you should always try to extract the good things from people around you try to learn from your experience and here comes the failure factor try to fail i tried to register the startup for the first time i failed and i learned a lot of things In the second time, we successfully register. So this is how we learn, and everything is necessary. So not only technology. Like I'm belongs to an engineering background, but college project is not the thing which can be having some business value. Some college projects have, but they have to be refined. So this is about how you can learn. So usually at start, we don't have enough resources, manpower, and funds. So how one can start with uh, working on their startup with minimum resources? Yeah, I remember last year I made a Swiss bank account. I mean, I should not tell that. I mean, I should not promote any company, but it's a bank account like I have done, Swiss bank account. And I asked my father for six thousand rupees. I returned him that money, and that six thousand rupees is the only money that I have taken for my father for my startup. Like everything I have done with that six thousand rupees. So how I have utilized that six thousand rupees? That is a very big thing. Like you should, I mean, you should be having the money management thing. Inside yourself, if something can be done for ten rupees, then why to go for the hundred rupees? Like it's a very simple thing. So minimum fund funds are like funds are okay. Funds are important, but if you are starting a startup, it is not important. What is important in if you are starting the startup? Networking is quite important. Like cash flow will come into your startup only when you have the good networking. You have the ten of clients. Like one client is coming this month, two clients are coming next month, three clients are coming. I mean after two months. So this thing should be done. Like uh, there should be a network and funds. And the second thing, what you asked, one thing is fund. Second thing, is, uh, I forgot. Manpower or uh, resources. Yeah, for the manpower, I struggled a lot. Like I believed a lot of people who will work for me and who will work with my goal, but they actually left the company. That is not something which uh, depresses me or which uh, questions my uh, goals. But the thing is like. i also got a very good mentor like currently my team consists of people from my college people from other college like nit and one of the people from iit roorkee is also in my team currently so this thing is like uh, this thing is like going on quite well like uh, team building is a very good thing and main power i always suggest you do not go for people who are only interested for your money in your startup go for people who are having the similar vibe for your business idea for your goal that type of people are quite rare to find and i have not found any shortcut way to find them but the only way to find them is to network with people and how you are networking it's up to you 
i network with people in the college and network with people in the linkedin i have also my family contacts i have my own contacts like relation contacts and all i have my father's friends i have something from my mother side as well so a lot of things are there like how you are going to build the network like i am also new in the market i mean i was a newcomer currently i am not a newcomer and when you are a newcomer in the market no one actually wants you to get inside the market because that will increase the competition so you'll get rejection from a lot of people a lot of people and you will get rejection from a lot of places but if you lose the hope then you'll lose both the funding and you will also lose the main power people will leave you at the initial stage a lot of people left me and nowadays when i think uh, about those people so i actually laugh at them uh, it's not because they left me it's because when my startup is getting the traction at the same time they left me so the thing is like they did not get their money that is why i am i am quite worried like when they will come i will give them their money so they could not get their money from my startup so that is the thing uh, and this is how you get the funding and funding thing is quite technical if you uh, for the like things can be bootstrap as well my entire startup is bootstrap i am not got funding from anywhere uh, neither from my parents i have not taken my parents money like 6000 rupees is the only thing that i have uh, i have taken from my father's money because you need a initial amount from someone otherwise you can't start i have my own savings as well but i use that savings from for my laptop purchase in my first year like every csc guy actually purchase a laptop of more than 50k so i i actually spent all my savings for that purpose only but uh, when i started my startup to got some money for my father like 6000 after that i never took money for my father in fact i always offer him like papa you take this and it's not necessary to return me but you take this and use this for the home school fair so uh, like funding is a important thing but that is a technical thing like uh, you can also have some business you can also have some investors so that depends how you are going to approach them that depends your pitch deck depends so that is a very technical other other type of discussion so we are not going to that depth today but this is how you manage main power and manage funding um still uh, people need funds for this startup at some point so could you please tell some uh, ways in which we can uh, they can get funds uh i have not yet gone for fundraising and in earlier future we are looking for that like our pitch decks are ready but we are not sending it to any vp firms as of now but uh, what we will do like uh, i am i don't think i am the quite uh, perfect person to answer this question but your funding requires funding requires a very good pitch deck and pitch deck doesn't mean a lot of designs and all it requires a business idea to be represented properly lot of clients whom i interact with normally i don't interact with my pa or someone else interact with but whenever i interact with so many clients uh, in once in a while they actually tell me that my explanation skills are awesome it's not something i'm telling for praising myself it's something that i'm telling like your explanation skills and your representation skills should be awesome one of my friends from my college i showed him my question paper so answer paper copy after the exam is over right not during the exam after the exam is over so don't think something like that so after the exam is over showed in the answer copy he is like your representation skills are awesome so your representation skills matter it's not only in the college exam uh, it's also in case of if you are representing your idea to someone let's assume you can't explain your idea in layman term you are roaming around the road you can't explain your idea to a layman term to any other professional any other person you can't explain your idea so how are you going to generate profit from that like you see you go for the big companies like reliance like tata right they have the idea which can be explained in a layman way what they do tata produces steel steel and how they do it it's not necessary in a layman so you can we can actually explain their idea so if your idea can't be explained in a layman way to the founders or to the people you are reaching out let's say you are reaching out to some relative you can't explain your idea so why they are going to uh, fund you so first of all for the fundraising your idea should be clear in your yourself at least like i have seen a lot of people of my age only who don't have their idea clear and they are talking about raising 1 crore rupees so that's not going to happen so first you clear your idea once you clear your idea you get a proper vision on how to explain your idea if you are able to explain your idea by giving examples that even better so if you if you can do that then you can raise fund and after fundraising i will contact you again try to ask me the same question i will answer you what are the things that i have found i mean i have contacted a lot of people these are the feedback that i have got like to sort of represent your skills properly so represent your goal properly like the startup goal properly so this is what i can say as of now one more aspect of startup i feel is promotion promotion also plays an important role to get the clients to promote your startup to let people know that you are doing something 
so how what ways one can choose to do the promotion like the one right ways which we can pick to do the promotion for a startup yeah there is a there is something there is a one very important thing like which promotes your startup 24 into 7 and can you guess that what is that thing which promotes your company or which promotes your startup 24 into 7 um, no. your company's website content so it's a 24 into 7 promotion of your company so first of all i have a very good content team and our content writer is also happens to be our product manager so he has a he has a lot of experience like he is a female person only so as i told you 50% of female reservation is there so we actually took good candidates from our college only so she takes care of our um, i mean of our content and we always try to put the content first to any of our clients like the content side should be like this content side should be like that so once you put a proper content to the client they are quite happy with it they have the idea clear right so for the promotion purpose if the client is happy they will promote it like when you got our first client he bring us two more clients so this is like he was quite happy with our presentation skills he was quite happy with our content that we provided them with our product that we provided them we are still they are our long term start they are our long term client like they are still with us they are going to be with us for the next uh, two years or something like that so this is like when you build relations for the long term it is not like one website project is coming you are taking it and after 15 days it is over no that thing doesn't happen you have to retain your customers after 15 days it is not over it's going to be more than 15 years for it to be over so the thing is like that only like what i can say like content try to focus a lot of con- lot more on content second thing try to be different from others like uh, in our startup we have thought of something different which i am not going to tell obviously now but we have thought of something different than other comp- other competitive startups which are with us so promotion is actually a very important thing other thing is like uh, uh, what i can say in case of promotion there is digital media promotion as well you can like this youtube video or something like that you can do these type of things for digital promotion there is also print media promotion like print media promotion means newspaper and all if it is feasible then give then only give in newspaper you are doing some different type of business you are doing some software business which normal people can't understand so what is the point in wasting your money like i have seen a lot of startup money most amount of the money or the major amount of the money always goes in promotion that also some promotion do not bring you anything uh in march or april we have did a promotion for edwell academy which failed drastically i have lost around 30 to 40 uh 40000 rupees for that promotion but that bring us nothing it was a loss complete loss so the thing is i learned one thing like uh, always try to understand what the client wants and give the dynamic content according to that do not give the content same for all the clients so after that we tried reaching people one by one one by one so we got a very good feedback so promotion one thing is like prepare the content according to the client make it flexible make it dynamic so this is what this is what i can say there are other aspects of promotion as well which will grow as we grow we'll explore those options but currently you are not using anything like that so only using content and good product so handling a startup itself is a big challenge and along with college is a very challenging and along with that you wrote research papers books and did internship as well so how you manage your time and some hacks that you used to manage your time and you would like to tell others yeah i managing time is not a different thing but it requires a lot of uh, i mean i can say a lot of brain stability to manage your time nowadays i wake up at 4 am and go for a work with my father in the morning and it is 8 degree in the morning here but still i i mean still i go out so i go outside with my father i do my uh, i mean uh, daily working like morning work and after that i start my work and i work for around 12 to 13 hours per day including my college so nothing more than okay so what happens like uh, i wake up at 4 i go for the morning work uh, with my father and after that i start my work i work for i mean i work deeply for around 12 hours although i work for more than 12 hours but deeply for 12 hours and including my college things and all now you are asking how i have written a book how i have done an internship done a lot of internships not one a lot but and how i am having my research paper so it is because of the genuine interest now i am giving you the story that story which i have not told you earlier the story is like i had a very good mark in jee uh, after two times of failure like i failed two times so like anyone can understand two years dropper so the thing is when i got my uh, i mean got my marks in jee it was 210 out of 360 which was sufficient 
to get me something like chemical or ceramic in case of penalty rules club because i am also from odisha and raulka is i mean raulka considers odisha as the home state so i was able to get chemical or ceramic there but my general interest was always with computer science not because this field was giving a lot of jobs always with the computer science so i have left nit i have left the tag and i went to a psc called currently which is not exactly csc but guru gasidas vidyalaya which is in which is one of the central universities in chatisgarh so this is what i am saying like if you want to do something in the field you are interested in nothing is impossible i know a few pubg players in fact my roommate if you have heard about that game pubg game when it was in the market so i have seen them playing it for 18 hours a day even it was a challenge for me to sit in front of the computer or the mobile for 18 hours but they played it because they had the genuine interest in that game so why can't we have the genuine interest in our our thing like if we are doing python writing python we have genuine interest in python it's not only i am doing open source for certificates and all i am still doing open source i still uh, contribute to open source i have my open source package so a lot of things are there like i am interested in this thing so i have done this thing regarding research paper uh, thanks to open genus and there is a teacher there i forgot his name so he actually guided me to write my first research paper and uh, first thing that i have published and after a lot of hard work i actually published that because once i was sitting in the sitting in my garden which my mom made and i got that idea finally it was a very big problem like a shortest path algorithm which i have written in graph uh, i mean dsa but it's not like other shortest path algorithm it is different it involves transitive closure so the, i got the idea when i was sitting in the uh, i mean i can say i was sitting in the garden so you need to have a clear mind if you are having different type of thoughts coming in your mind like what my friend is doing what that girl is doing most of the boys are always concerned about what that girl is doing what that girl is doing so i am not uh, exactly concerned about that either those things come into my brain so you need to you need to clear your brain properly first thing. second thing is like you need to prepare a proper schedule if let's assume i am so uh, so perfect of my schedule during my college days when we have our tech phase used to work since uh, 6 pm starting from the 10 in 6 we used to work from the projects on um, equilibrio equilibrio is our what i can say it's our tech phase right we used to work for that tech phase after the tech phase i was very much tired still i come to my hostel i eat uh, my dinner and i sleep i wake up at 3 and i do the 6 hour coding every day i used to do that in my first year so how you are going to maintain your goal how you are going to stick to it that's a very big thing that i have learned from failures i, I have been failed two times in jail so that's i mean i have learned from my failures how to stable your brain stabling your brain is a very important thing for consistency and for everything so this is how can how i can uh, i mean i can suggest to people like do not take anything uh, which is not serious to you into consideration like do not take only for tax or only something like that always try to do things you are interested in so things will be not like studying and all it will be like playing games only if you are interested in something it's like playing games it's very simple so play the game and win the game have some chicken dinner so that's it what i want to say so as you said like people do a lot of things other than uh, what we are doing so in that surrounding uh, making uh, keeping the motivation and patience for our things becomes very difficult and sometimes we lose patience motivation so how one can keep that yeah i hope i don't remember the name of the person who told this line but whenever you want to have your passion you should always look back to why you have started if you are coming into the middle of something and you are thinking like i should quit so you should always look into why you have started patience is a very relative term why i'm telling this if you are more patient than your peers it's not necessary that you will be doing uh, well in your life so whatever your peers are doing most of my peers no one is into startup i'm telling you whatever uh, whatever friends i have i have very small friend circle like most of the friends don't talk with me because they think i'm quite busy which i am not obviously i have other works so they think i'm quite busy they don't talk with me and all the things but things like uh, i am it's not necessary that what your peers are doing you should also do i told you know that fomo word that word doesn't sound anything for me what is that fomo i have this skill i will do this he has or she has that skill she is doing that or she is, he is doing that it's nothing like peer pressure is a difficult thing uh corona also played one important role like i am living in my home since two years now 
so corona played an important role if i were in college if i was in college then things may have been different like i would be starting my startup after my btech maybe i'll be starting my startup btech um, now i am starting in third year so that thing may have happened because i also i thought i would have gone to the computer programming and dsa thing that my so peers are doing that's not a bad thing i'm always telling like computer programming and dsa are not bad thing that's good thing you guys should do that but you guys should do something which you are interested in i have seen a lot of my juniors doing those thing without even understanding why they have to do it like i do understand like these are very important for a sd then i have studied those i have studied all type of algorithms i have my research paper in algorithm but the thing is not like that the thing is quite simple if you have not interest if you don't have any interest in something you should not do that my people my team people who are in my team there are people from cs who are good in graphic design quite good like yesterday only they were scolding me why i want i was not giving them work and i am all do, doing all the graphic work by myself so they were more scolding me my i mean my employees were scolding me so this type of uh, this type of uh, what i can say this type of freedom you only get in my startup so i'm like i'm not a boss i'm not a bossy type thing i'm just a friend so that is the thing like people who are from cc are having very good uh, interest in graphic design so you should pursue that na graphic design is not a very small thing people think like that people only go in one direction so you should not be following the herd you should do something which you are interested in so that is what i think and it's it's very clear cut in my brain so my brain may be something a little bit different than others so it's very clear cut for my brain and after doing this let's assume you were trying something which you are not interested in so after doing it for 3 4 months you will also lose your interest and you will so finally got into the initial state like why i have started why i have done that why i have wasted my 3 months so it is better to do something which you are interested in so that is it find your interest uh, find your passion and passion is a very relative term as well so find your interest i can say passion is a different thing so find your interest and try to pursue your goals that should be your motto in your college and you do not need to find what is your friend's interest you need to find what is your interest your friend's interest may be different so does that even matter friends are friends so you that's okay so you talked about your team so i must say having a good team is also as important as having a startup so how one can build a good team as i don't find it easy uh, good team is not as important as startup it is actually more important than startup because new startup exist when you have a good team and that team building is a very 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 complex thing like i have seen it like very complex thing why i am saying it is not like people are not good enough people are good enough people are very talented people are full of with talent but the thing is like just say like you need to find that talent and you need to fit that talent in the proper place let's assume someone is good in graphic designing and i am giving him the front end work so how he or he is going to perform so i need to find where he or she fits in so that thing is difficult for for the entrepreneur it's always about taking correct decisions not about correct decisions taking decisions and at least hope that they are correct i mean there is a chance very big chance that they will be you will be failed so the thing is like taking correct decisions on how to fit your team members into the proper place second thing is maintaining personal relation with all, everyone if you don't have the personal relation you are giving like let's assume i am hiring two interns right the hiring manager he always asks me like you should come to the no interview at least because if you are not coming to the interview you are not interacting with the employee how you are going to interact with them if someone is having some problem in their life try to, i always try to solve that i give i give them that freedom come to me i will try to solve it this is like how you increase the employee environment and one thing i have seen in case of people in case of talented people talented people i'm not talking about money diggers or gold diggers i'm talking about talented people i've seen that they are not always behind money they are always in search of a instead of having a instead of having a search for a gold they are always in search of a golden idea so the team uh, should resonate with your idea it's not like they should be different as well they should not be like those uh, i can say like they should not be like people who always say yes to you they should be people who tell no no to you recently i developed one of the i mean one application for one of our clients and one of my teammate gave me 55 out of 100 this is my rating this is the ceo's rating in my company like you can see 55 out of 100 in that software they actually made it better but they gave this is the this is the honesty you want from people na like you should give me 55 when i am i mean when i should get 55 so they gave to 55 out of 100 i am like okay it's not a problem i will try better so what i am trying to say like team building is good but you have to respect your peers like i i always told you like 
uh, SDs are not bad. I refer them a lot. And the SDs which are working at my place, not exactly SDs, but I can say software engineers which are working at my place, they are also great. They have, I mean, acknowledgeable. I can, I can actually believe them and try to trust, trust people. Trust is the important thing in stream building. Most of the time, we don't trust people. Like I have some financial decision, financial decision to take. I'm not trusting people to do that. I'm thinking like my employee will, I mean, my employee will take all my money. So this is not how businessmen's brain work. You do not think like your employee will take. You think like you both will take, right? You do not think like your employee will only take. You think like all the, I mean, everyone in the company will grow. So the first thing, like, do not try to discriminate among the peers who are working, seniors, juniors, everyone who is working, junior developers, senior developers, they are the same thing. Always try to uh, focus on people's welfare as well. If someone is, a, in fact, what we do, uh, I don't think other companies do it or not, I don't know because I have not worked with so many big companies, but we always give our data cost. Like in a month, what should be the data cost? Even if you're watching Netflix for all the day, the data cost should not be more than 1,000 rupees. If you are watching Netflix all the day, we provide that thousand rupees to our to our I mean to our employees, and we ask them to watch Netflix when they are not working. Why we are asking them to watch Netflix? Is I mean that 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 is a very drastic decision you should take. Like why we are taking asking them to watch Netflix? So this is to make them productive. Productive is not only by watching Netflix. Try to watch different YouTube videos. Try to do something in the internet. Try to use Canva. Canva is a very good tool. So try to use that, try to do something, try to get your creativity out. So we give that money extra. So that is the cost to company. That is not for them, right? Like that is not included in their salary. That's the cost to company. We give that to every uh, every employee that we have. So team building is an important thing. And slowly I'm also learning how to build a team. Our team is also new. So this is a very initial thing that I can say. This is a quite a few initial things. Uh, startup, uh, people don't know how important startup culture is for India. So would you like to show some light over that, like how important startup culture is for India? Yes, very important. I mean, very, very important. I am adding two very because it is very, very important. Why? <clears throat> because nowadays the population of India is growing. We have different type of problems. We have to find different type of solutions. The traditional problems, traditional solutions can't solve them. Uh, we have to design like if you have gone through different uh, government websites and everything like that i do not like their responses i neither like their option i mean how they are optimal or not i do not like that maybe they are more secure that is of course government websites are more secure but they are not quite optimal a lot of times i mean 50 out of 100 times those i mean those websites don't never work right so this is the thing like for India, having a software startup is very important. Everything, like every type of industry is going to be online in a digital mode. Even nowadays, the mechanics that are coming for your car, coming for something, you can order them in the, I mean, uh, we are currently developing for one of our clients, like you can order them uh, by your mobile or something like that. The mechanic will come to your home, just like Amazon or Amazon home services, something like that, right? So this thing, I mean, this thing is growing quite rapidly in India. And as our prime minister, honorable prime minister, always all, always uh, inspired startups to come up with different plans. He has done a, a lot of things. I'm not uh, in the support of the government or I'm not telling in the support of any politician. I'm just telling about the current scenario of India, like startups are getting recognized. That's a very big thing. And a lot of TV shows are also coming. Like I've seen LinkedIn, a lot of Spark Tank or something like that is going on. I don't exactly know what that, uh, I mean, what that, uh, so is, but I have seen something related to fundraising and all, like the Spark Tank in the foreign countries, right? The similar show. So those type of shows are actually getting the market in India. And what I'm saying, like they are getting the uh, a lot of views in India. Why they are getting a lot of views? Because people have this thing in their brain that that it is high time. Now it is the time for India to be the technical giant, right? India is already having a lot of human resources, but the problem is the brain drain. Every year, a lot of people actually leave India to go to the foreign countries. Even I can leave India. Anytime I wish, I can leave India and go to the foreign countries for my future studies, which I, of course, want. Who doesn't want to go to Paris and have that beautiful uh, tower there? Who doesn't want that? I always want that. I also want something with that, like having two, three girlfriends and all. But that thing is not, I mean, I can say that thing is not going to help India. What is the thing, what is the important thing we have to think for our country that we should think for the grassroots level welfare. So how my startup is going to help in that? That's a 
future question which i am going to answer not through words but through work basically so uh, let's see how we are going to roll out for something which can help our society and another thing like all startups come up with social responsibility social and educational responsibility so this is also the responsibility of software startups to uh, teach people on software how they work and everything related to that because the entire world is going over the internet like entire world is going digital right so it is the best time to have the startup in india and it is also the best time to make india a superpower so now it is the high time india should be a superpower and it will be possible in the few upcoming years so let's hope for the best and let's try to build the country so uh, one question i would like to mention that people do mistakes and mistakes are good thing to learn but uh, sometimes they create lot of issues and in terms of startup our mistakes can be a crucial too so how so any mistake that you would like to mention that people should not do or you learn that this is something that people should avoid doing in the startup journey yeah the first thing is do not trust on people who are unethical like i have trusted a lot of people who are quite unethical you have also seen in my last question i explained how some people left so those who have left it's okay uh, it's not a problem but you should not trust people who are unethical and how to trust that trusting people is a good thing trusting people who is having a good character is a very important thing it's not necessary to trust everyone so trust people whom you uh, think like they have the good character most of the most of the startups are going remote nowadays but the founder or but the ceo but the team management or the senior management i can say they should not go remote they should go talk with people they should understand the problem so most of the time you do not go out and talk with people that is very important always go out talk with people try to learn things and try to have some different vision than most of your peers so why different vision is necessary if like i have given you the example if any town 10 people are there and 10 of them want to have the mango and no one is there to provide the mango so it is not a very good thing everyone can't be the farmer someone has to be uh, a doctor someone has to be something else so everyone is built for something different everyone is unique so that is very important thing as for me like uh, these mistakes you should not do you should always find for uniqueness another mistake like do not uh, i mean do not get into pressure of what your competitors are doing let's assume your competitors publish some patent let's assume your competitor acquired some new client do not go for that go at your pace everyone explained like everyone has studied the einstein's theory of relativity but it's very i mean it's very bad to see like people do not apply that the relativity principle simply says like everyone has a different frame of reference so you should go with your frame of reference you should not go with your competitors with your peers or that type of frame of reference so this mistake i have also done like i have also learned from this mistake like you should not do what your competitors are doing so that's why i failed in case of january february and march 2020 so 2020 21 as well so i have failed these two times but i don't think that's very important uh, what important is try to learn try to grow and another mistake that you can do uh, like uh, using a lot of money for promotion like from in the promotion section i told you like promotion is like a lot of, lot of people use a lot of money nowadays there is something like something new term new i mean i can say new type of job role came into the market that is the influencer market some some startups are even mailing me we are providing influencer and all but it's okay if you want to i mean if you want to promote your startup but promotion should not be too early you have not gained traction for your startup you have not gained traction for your company and you are going for promotion so that's a very i mean not a very good thing try to focus on the product the product should be good uh, do not ignore your client never ignore your client we never ignore a single call of our client our client has never waited for any one single call we have given them call at the i mean at once when they requested we have also taken their calls whenever they have called even if it is a saturday or sunday in fact on saturday sunday my employees do not work i pick up the phone and i do all the things like having i mean being a ceo doesn't mean that you won't be sleep in your couch it's like you also work so we also do the same thing that our employees do so this thing you should not be thinking yourself di- different than your employees because they are also human beings having the same brain that you have so the only thing that differs them from you like you have got the opportunities and they have got the opportunity to become your employee so it is not like discriminating between your employees and discriminating and putting yourself in a better place like you are as ceo and all so that type of egoistic mindset should not be there i always try to be as down to earth as possible my seniors also tell me that some of my friends also tell me that even my professors tell me that like you are very down to earth although you are very talented or very bright student so this is not something to praise me this is what happens in real life so these are few mistakes that you should not do you should not be egoistic you should be down to earth so that's it 
you did uh, give so many suggestions so many tips any last tip you would like to give that is that there is a magical tip or something yes there is only one magical tip which i think i can do so the magical trick is whoever is watching this video and whoever is our viewers do not get into startup just because you saw me giving you tips about the startup only get into the startups when you have the interest only get into the startups when you have a vision to change the lives of thousands of people the lives of millions of people change the i mean change the current scenario in our country and it is not always necessary to have the startup a lot of sdes in good companies like flipkart amazon they are earning more than us earning is not that much important but the thing is like how impact you are creating so a lot of google engineers who are in the better position they are also creating a lot of important so it is not always necessary to have the startup so the magical tip is always the same do not do what other person is doing try to respect our tata einstein because he has given a very good theorem theory of relativity try to respect that and try to define your own frame of reference and do not limit yourself to anything like a lot of people say girls can't do this girls can't do that a lot of people say boys to do this and this is not your limit everything you can do and that is the same reason we have reserved 50% of our seats for females no hard feeling for boys because i am also a boy i am also a male but the thing is like girls can also do that and in our indian current scenario we should also promote that so the thing is like the magical thing is uh, always try to be down to earth always try to be without any ego or without anything and do not follow anyone try to have your own path everyone who has succeeded in their life they had their own path they had their own journey okay so that is my magical tip if, if it sounds to be magical then that go so from my side that is all if you want to add anything you can definitely ask uh, add that no the i mean it's nice talking with you i hope uh, viewers learn something from i mean i can say Uh, from what i have said and try to implement some of those parts even i am only 22 maybe in future i'll be giving another interview with upasana again so you guys can find some other mature answers like uh, i'm not a very mature kind of entrepreneur i can say i've just started and although i am 22 as upasana is just i told that i have done a lot of things it's okay but i have done a lot of things but a lot of things i have to do i have to learn a lot of things so the thing is like uh, you should always keep learning and, and that is it from my side so i mean it's a good interview or questions are quite good so thank you so much for inviting me today and i hope to give you the interview in future as well you so can please. ask about uh, asking about the subscribing to my channel to the audience yeah of course i why don't you are subscribing to her channel like i don't understand he is inviting me he has, he is inviting me he has invited someone who has performed very well in the cat examination so you should actually sub- subscribe to her channel she is also sometimes teaching data structures and all like you should subscribe to him she is a teacher as well and she is someone who can take good interview as well and hopefully she is a very good or professional as well because I, as far as i have talked with her i have seen like a very nice girl she is so what i can say like subscribe to the channel like my video share my video in your uh, um, college groups and try to uh, try to share it as much as possible so that people can at least get inspired if i am 22 and i can do this so that everyone also else can also do that so it's not impossible nothing is impossible in this world so try to do this try to share it with your friends and try to uh, have your own startups if you can otherwise it's okay whatever you are doing is okay so that is it So thank you Abhijit for coming to our channel that was it thank you all for watching this video we will meet in the next video thanks for watching until then like share and subscribe to our channel